Hi, everyone. And I want to welcome you all to our second Color Our Collection Spotlight. I'm Allie, the Museum Education Coordinator here at the American Philosophical Society, or the APS. Today, we'll be coloring in this ship sketch. Now, this piece is called Ship Porpoise. Uh, and it was drawn by naturalist Titian Ramsey Peel II sometime between 1838 and 1842. Uh, this sketch is from our collection, and you can also see it on our digital archive. Uh, we have a lot of fun sketches from Titian throughout his life, so take a look and search, search throughout it. I, uh, now I would like you to join me as I color in uh, our ship here and tell you some fun facts as we go. Come on. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna be using a variety of colors today as we color in our ship. So let's get started. This ship is called the USS Porpoise, which was launched in 1836. Porpoises are like narwhals, beluga whales, and a little like dolphins, but not really. This specific ship is called a brig, which is known for its two square rig masts. Now, when you're out at sea and you need to know where you're going, you need to know your cardinal directions. Those cardinal directions are north, south, east, and west. Now remember, there was no GPS in the 1800s, so sailors definitely would have needed to know their cardinal directions to find their way. You might have remembered the cardinal directions growing up by thinking of the phrase, never eat soggy waffles. Now it's a little silly, but you won't forget it, right? The porpoise was sketched in the 1800s, so it would have been made of wood. And as you can see, I'm coloring in the wooden sections of the ship now with this brownish color. Now I know when you see these ships, you suddenly want to talk like a pirate, so try to get any pirate talk out now, me mateys, because this ship was used for exploring. This ship was part of the Wilkes Expedition, or also called the U.S. Exploring Expedition. We know this because in the original sketch, its artist, Titian Peel, was very helpful in labeling it. You can see here, in the top right corner of your screen, an image has popped up, and it's an image of Titian's little notation that he left us. And it says, Brig Porpoise U.S. Exploring Expedition TRP. And TRP means Titian Ramsey Peel. So thanks, Titian, for helping us out. You might be wondering, who is Titian Peel? And what's the Expl U.S. Exploring Expedition, Allie? Well, I'll tell you. The U.S. Exploring Expedition, or also called the Wilkes Expedition, after the leader of the expedition, Charles Wilkes, was a surveying and exploring expedition from 1838 to 1842. Titian Ramsey Peel II was chosen for the Wilkes Expedition as one of their naturalists to observe, document, and bring back specimens they encountered throughout their journey. So as they went out, if they could, ca if they could catch certain species, they would catch them, and if they couldn't, they could also draw and illustrate them to bring back so other people could see what, what they saw. Peel's favorite type of specimen, though, were butterflies, which he collected and made illustrations of. You can actually see an example of one of these butterflies in your top right corner, the image popped up. Uh, you'll find in our archive many illustrations of butterflies. Some are colored in, like this one. Some are just sketches, so keep an eye out for those. Now remember Charles Wilson Peel? Remember Charles Wilson Peel from our first video? Well, Titian was his youngest son. Titian was a naturalist, so that means he studied nature or natural history, and he wanted to see how the world worked. He was also a member of the Academy of Natural Sciences right here in Philadelphia. You might have visited their museum. And Titian was also a member of the American Philosophical Society. That's us. Phil Hall at the APS was where his dad's Charles Museum was housed from 1794 to 1810. And Titian was also born in Philosophical Hall uh, when the museum was also there. So the Peel family and Titian himself hold a special place in our hearts at the APS. The Wilkes expedition was like I said earlier, a surveying expedition. So they measured land. They also charted islands and and a part of the Pacific Ocean. They confirmed the existence of the continent of the Antarctic, and they also traveled around the world. So they were pretty busy. It wasn't all sunshines and rainbows, though, on the voyage. The leader of the expedition, Wilkes, was not fond of civilian scientists on his ship. 
So that meant he wasn't fond of scientists who weren't in the Navy. So there is some tension between Peel and Wilkes. Now that tension would later hurt Peel professionally. And we're now going to get to some of the sad parts of Peel's life here. On top of him getting hurt professionally, one of the ships that held his specimens, some of his specimens would go down. A report he was making about the expedition would be destroyed in a fire. His wife and one of his daughters would die. The Philadelphia Museum was forced to close and its specimens, many of which Titian collected and prepared, were sold off. Titian would also later on move to a new career in the patent office. Our ship also doesn't end well as it supposedly goes down during a typhoon. So there's some ta there were some sad times in the end. But right now, let's finish up coloring our C at the bottom here with all that blue. It looks really nice. There we go. Got a color in the rest. I want to start off by thanking you all again for coming to our Color Our Collection Spotlight. It's been another fun one. Oh, there we go. Get in the bottom there. Get in the bottom. Perfect. Look at that ocean. Quite a beauty. So great, great image, great time coloring, but you know what it needs? Some little bit of rays of happiness here, so let's add a sun. A nice happy sun. Just, you know, to get rid of all those bad vibes near the end of Titian's life. Let's color it all in. A little bit of some warmth to this picture. There we go. Oh, but you know, it also needs some rays, some sun rays, so let's get that in there. Awesome. Perfect. Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at our finished product. Pretty good. Pretty fun. We even added our own little sun there to brighten it up a little bit. Um, but if you would like to color in uh, your own ship at home, uh, the link to the coloring page it will be in the description as well as the whole color Art collection page. Um, as well as where you can find it on our digital archive. Uh, that's it for me today, and I want to thank you all for joining us for our Coloring Our Collection Spotlight. Stay tuned for future ones from our collections to your home. See you later.